Namaste. Welcome to the second symposium in the series of symposiums uh, being conducted by Indic Academy. As you know, Indic Academy has, uh, has been a non-traditional university for traditional studies. And it has uh, been committed to the preservation, protection, and promotion of uh, Indic cultural traditions. As part of that, it has uh, many units and uh, activities, events, this idea of symposium has been a recent idea. It, it was uh, actually we arrived at the idea of symposium after uh, we had several conferences. We had around 20 conferences on various topics. And uh, some of them were focused on uh, issues like dance and music also. There was a conference on Hindu art aesthetics. There was a separate conference on Hindu aesthetics. There was a conference on Hindu art architecture and other things also. But then we thought uh, symposium uh, to be a, an event where only invited guests are there. So this is such an event. The symposium is an event where only invited speakers, distinguished speakers, are invited to give talks. Whereas in a conference, invited guests are placed among the paper presenters also. And paper presenters send their abstracts, those papers are selected, and those papers are arranged as part of the conference. But here in a symposium, we have only uh, senior people, experts in the field, uh, presenting their uh, views uh, with all their long experience in the study of a specific chosen topic. Sri Harikaran Vadlamani Garu, our uh, founder, comes up with these ideas, uh, with his uh, perpetual creativity. He thought of this idea of symposium and for the first topic, we chose Jati Puranas, Kula Puranas, which are uh, Jati Puranas or uh, Puranas which are narrated by a specific subcast of a caste uh, narrating the origin of the caste from a certain deity, a Hindu deity, and uh, exploring the self-respect of that community, uh, documenting their cultural practices like how to perform a marriage and all that, and uh, glorifying their occupational tools and occupational activity, all that. So that Jati Purana topic was uh, the first topic for the symposium. And the second, as a second topic, we chose this uh, topic of the Devadasi tradition. Whenever we choose a topic, uh, we have a contemporary relevance in the mind. The present relevance that we saw in this topic of uh, Devadasi tradition is actually there is so much of misinformation among the younger generation with regard to the uh, Indian classical dance traditions. Some of these youngsters, uh, say for example, with regard to Bharatanatyam or Odissi, might think that uh, Bharata's Natya Shastra was all about these traditions only. Uh, or they may not even know that Bharata, there is something called Bharata's Natya Shastra. Uh, but uh, when they get into some studies uh, for general awareness or uh, quizzing, quiz exams and all that, then they come to know that there are so many different Indian classical dance traditions uh, from Mohini Artam to Kathakali to uh, uh, Bharatanatyam. Uh, Kuchipudi, uh, Odissi, and Kathak of uh, the North India, Manipuri. Uh, there are so many different forms, and there is a history behind all these different forms. 
then they begin to wonder. For example, when they read about Bharatanatyam, they read about Sadhya. And uh, then there is a lot of misinformation about what was Sadhir and all that. And then they come to know about the Devadasi tradition. When they read uh, that there were uh, acts by the British government and the independent Indian government uh, prohibiting something that was happening inside the Devadasi tradition, immediately there is a pejorative attitude that is developed towards this tradition. A negative attitude is developed. And then, then if they are lucky, if their teacher is good teacher, they the teacher might tell them that okay, no, don't always go towards these negative aspects of the tradition. There are books like uh, Nitya Sumangali by Saskia Kersenboom, and there are many other works. There are good articles, good research articles, and there is this book by uh, Lakshmi Vishwanathan, the Women of Pride is there. There are wonderful books. Uh, which are bringing out the positive side of the tradition also. If the teacher tells them, then only they come to know that there is a good work uh, on these topics. They have to look at the positive side of the tradition, the how the tradition actually began and how probably some kind of uh, degeneration took place, some kind of aberrations happened in the tradition and all that. Otherwise, there is, a, there is always this negative attitude only that is built in the uh, millennial generation, 2022 generation youngsters. Uh, and another uh, uh, problem that happens because of this is that then some shenanigans, some politically minded uh, foreign scholars come in here and say, that, uh, oh, this tradition is being appropriated. Uh, actually, Bharatanatyam is an appropriation of uh, Devadasi tradition. And uh, we have to uh, give it back to uh, the people who were originally performing and all that because they are not knowledgeable about the whole details of what actually happened. Uh, what happened, for example, during the British period, how British... Uh, brought their colonial attitude towards these traditions, how they brought their Victorian morality into the society, how the so-called reformation movements, they uh, created a negative uh, opinion about uh, these traditions. This history is uh, not given in detail to these younger uh, people. Uh, and uh, they, they are not even told how Actually, when Bharatanatyam and other uh, traditions were uh, being brought to proscenium stage, the people who did this were having good intentions in doing that. They, they were having positive intentions in doing this and how they were actually fighting. They were actually fighting misinterpretation and misrepresentation. So the, all that is completely hidden. They are not told about the good work that happened behind this, and they are given only a, a kind of a colored uh, view about the developments. And in the process, what happens is, actually they are not realizing that in the process, the Devadasi families themselves are getting maligned. Their uh, image is getting maligned. What the colonial people and the reformation people wanted how to color India in a very negative uh, way by talking about negatively about Devadasi tradition, they are uh, now contributing by, think, by saying that they are liberating them, by saying that they are helping them, they are indirectly actually uh, harming their self-image and their social image and their self-respect and self-esteem. This complex uh, kind of situation has to be uh, salvaged for the younger mind. They are completely confused with all kinds of views coming from all directions. Uh, so uh, when they hear from senior people like uh, uh, Guru Lakshmi Vishwanathan Ji or Dr. Rana Kausalya Ji or Padma Bhushan Swapna Sundari Ji or uh, a senior uh, journalist, a scholar, C.K. Sridharji, or our own young uh, 
and energetic pratik and iliana ji uh, who has worked on odissi when all such information comes to the younger generation then uh, all this forest of uh, misinterpretations in their mind will at least get clarified to some extent they will get some path to think or at least some references some sources to think clearly about uh, what happened and what is happening what should happen so with these uh, uh, few words in behalf of uh, indica as a welcome message to all the speakers distinguished uh, senior speakers uh, of the august uh, symposium